Hello kiddos, Sir ESC here, and for this video, let's talk about concave and convex mirrors. <laughs> what is a spherical mirror? Spherical mirror is also known as a curved mirror. And it can be a concave or a convex. Spherical mirrors can be thought of as a portion of a sphere that was lies away, then silvered on one of the sides to form a reflecting surface. Again, we got two types of spherical mirror. The first one is the concave mirror. Concave mirror is also known as converging mirror. You have to remember that it has an inward curve. For you to visualize it, the best example of which is the inside of a spoon. The second type is the convex mirror, or also known as the diverging mirror. It is the opposite of concave mirror. It has an outward curve. And the best example of this is the outside of a spoon. For us to know the characteristics of the images formed by concave and convex mirrors, we have to get familiarized ourselves first with the terminologies that we will encounter when we do the drawing of the ray diagram. These are the terminologies that we have to remember. The first one the center of curvature, or it is represented by letter C. It is the center of the sphere from where the mirror was taken. And in the illustration below, this is the center of curvature. Second is the vertex, which is represented by a capital V. It is the center of the mirror. And as we draw the ray diagram, we will label it here. The third part is the radius of curvature, or capital R. It is the radius of the sphere. It is the distance between C and V. By description, here's the radius of curvature. The fourth terminology or concept is the principal axis, or also called as the optical axis, or it is represented by letter P. It is a straight line joining C and V, and this is the principal axis in our diagram. The fifth one is the principal focus, represented by a capital F. It is the point where reflected rays meet for concave mirror and the point where reflected rays from behind for convex mirror. In our ray diagram, this is our principal focus. The last concept is the focal length, which is represented by a small f. It is the distance from V to the F or principal focus. Since the focus is midway between center of curvature and vertex, the focal length is one half of the C. And in the diagram, this is our focal length. These terminologies are very necessary for us to accurately draw the ray diagrams of concave and convex mirrors. Later on, you will understand their effect on the images formed by spherical mirrors, concave and convex. That's it. We are done. I hope you learned something today. Watch the next video on how to draw the ray diagram of a concave mirror. See you again in my next teach blog. Bye-bye and God bless. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. <laughs>